Okay, here's my old one. Here's my new one. Everything looks the same, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And once I put the handle on, I may have to adjust this ring. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna concern myself with that just yet. I know, see, see this notch right there? We know that goes down, because when I put the handle on there, see here, the handle goes on there, and then the set screw, when you push the set screw up, what you're doing is, you're just pushing it up into this groove, that's all. And then that keeps, then you can't pull this off, because this edge is hitting, okay? That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Once you understand how things go, you know, it's not too bad after all. And this just sets right on there. It doesn't even fit into a, a notch or anything. That's kind of cheesy. I would have thought. Okay. Let's just push right up there. Okay. Just got one screw set there. Get my other, my other screws, and line up the dots. All right, almost looked like I knew what I was doing, huh? Just about. And guess what? The very next one I do, I'm gonna know exactly what all is entailed. And what I'm gonna do is I'll go down to the the store, or at least on my bags, okay? on my bags, I'll write down all this information, or better yet, I could take a picture with my cell phone, couldn't I, of both of those bags, with the name on it, see this was a cartridge with seals, mix, mix, reel, and here's the balance, the pressure balance unit. And I believe next time I'm at the store, I am going to order those parts. I might even be able to do it over online because I even see there's a website. There's a website on here, an actual phone number too. And if I don't want to drive to the store, I could have them. I can sh have them ship it right right over the internet if I wanted. In the mail. You know. Okay. These, these screws here got to be pretty snug. You see, I don't have an overly sized screwdriver. I mean, it's just a small one. I think I can still get it tight because I was able to loosen it up. Use two hands on it. I get it there. Don't do it so you break something or spin something off or bend the screw end or, or anything. Just get it to where you feel like, okay, yeah, that looks, that looks good. Okay, oh yeah. All right, you know what the next step is? Before we do anything, let's turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is undo those screws, remember? Uh, I've got a small shower here. I'm trying to resituate stuff. I need to I'll do that. Okay, remember on the hot side, I got the handle down. The hot side was two and a half turns. Okay, there's half. There's one and a half, two and a half. I'm not quite sure. I might have to ask at the wholesale house next time I order these. When I go back and order these. Say, hey, what's the deal with these screws? Because I don't know. It, it should be to where if you unscrew it any further, it, there should have a definite stop point on it. You know, but so that you can't undo the screw. If you undo the screw, the screw's going to come out and blow, and all your water's going to blow, and then you're going to have to run outside, find, a, find the water valve, and all that. You know what I mean? And so... I, I'm not going to take a chance, but if your water is, is running slow, you can always maybe try to tweak one of these screws, back it off. I had my aunt one time, she, they had just put in a new shower. She hadn't used it for like six months. Then, her, then my cousin, her son, came over there 
to use it, and he couldn't use it. He said, what's the deal? Nobody, you know, even when the installers installed everything, they had to turn screws on it. And so we took everything off. It was a little bit different than this, but it, same kind of thing. We took everything off. I backed the screw out, you know, two or three times on both sides, holding my breath that the threads aren't gonna pull out. And then we, we checked the water. It seemed to have enough pressure. Hot and cold water was working. It was fine. Oh, I remember what it was. The, the cold water worked. Their hot water wasn't on. And so the guy, whoever installed it, they took, they undid the screw for the cold water, but they didn't unscrew the uh, hot water screw. So I undid that a little bit. It seemed to have enough pressure. It was There was hot water. She was all concerned that uh, the hot water heater was out or something else was out inside the wall, whatever. But we got it. Okay, enough of that. That might give you a tip. Okay, so three on this side, remember? There's one. And these are like half turns. Two, three, and I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. It was fine before. All right, let's try this out. No funny business, no tricks. I'm going to turn that handle, hold my breath. Now, obviously, we don't have any drip. Do we? Look, there's no drip. Now granted, if it was dripping a little bit, the pipe would have, this whole pipe would have to fill up all the way up to here before it would come out. So the real test is turning this water on and seeing what happens. Here we go. Okay, hold my breath. In fact, I'm going to put the handle on just so I can control it. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Obviously, I mean the shower was working like this before. Now, now comes the time. Is it going to shut off? So I'm sure it's going to. I'm not even concerned about it. Here we go. Kaboom. Look at that. Joe is being a plumber today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy. Okay, now, before I put the trim back on, I'm going to set this on here, and we're going to see how this is set, okay? I'm going to turn it to the right. See how far it's going? Look at that. I'm going to turn it to the left. Oh, good. That's perfect. Okay, sometimes they aren't as good as this, and, it's, and it will be because you have to slide this little red goodie out and it's got splines on it. And let's see if I can't get you in there closer. See there, there's splines in there and then there's splines on that. You, you take that out and there's certain notches on there and then you can swivel that around. Okay, but we're not gonna do anything to that. Now see, look at this. The head is dripping a little bit, but these showers are known for that. See how big this thing is? What happens is this whole thing fills up with water, okay? And because you've got the waterfall type thing, you still got some water in this shower head about this much. So this is going to keep dripping like this until the rest of this water comes out. That's not a leak. That is not a leak. It'll take, see it's already going slower. Okay, so now we're ready to put the handle assembly back on.